So just a little view of the home before you go inside so you can see what you're walking into. Um, I'm not sure what strikes you first, but let's start with the floor. It's a, it's a birch um, engineered hardwood flooring and it sort of ties in with the, the birch wall paneling we have on here. It's a three quarter, it's a three quarter pre-finished birch and it's inset with a, a little oak inlay. So you have a flush finish with no exposed fasteners, no screws, no nails visible uh, right around. And the, uh, the oak trims continue right around the home. I basically frame everything. And it's obviously a stained oak to give it that dark contrast. The, the ceiling is a hemlock tongue and groove hemlock ceiling. Um, the hemlock's quite nice as you don't see a lot of knots in it. It looks quite a clean finish. And then moving around, we have a cedar beam picking up the loft. And I do like the exposed cedar. It's quite an attractive wood. Uh, it's uh, connected together with mortise and tenon joints. So pretty strong. Over here we have the the walnut ladder that I made. It's a custom custom made for this home. Uh, walnut's really nice to work with, but super expensive. Just pop upstairs to the loft, and Niall actually did this wall finish for me. My carpenter. It's a poplar wall finish right around the loft. Quite a nice wood. Has a little bit of green in it. Um, the mountain inlay is poplar as well it's just been stained with some dark and white stain and um, cut into a mountain mountain shape and then on the on the two sides you have a window on each side so you have some cross draft if you need it on a fire escape um yeah that's the loft and then move down just to show you off the kitchen a little bit it's um pretty straightforward a little countertop there um, with a little inset here, this is a, a little custom cut inset so you can have a little workspace or a dining area and get a view out the window hopefully hopefully better than this view but we'll work with what we've got and the sink's quite nice, it's a, it's a deep single bowl sink um, pretty good and some grey cabs and then over to the side we have we have a little 24 inch electric cooker and we do have a propane connection set up in the back, so if you want to switch it for a propane version, that can be done pretty easily. And above, instead of a range hood, this, uh, this microwave is an over-the-range microwave, so it, we don't actually need a separate range hood for that. And on this side, we have our apartment-sized fridge. I do like a decent-sized fridge. Uh, it's a freezer, and yeah, some bottles down there. Um, the door is a fur door to the bathroom. <clears throat> Before I uh, go in, I do like uh, an actual hinge door instead of your regular pocket style door. It does uh, prevent the smell a little bit more. Uh, a little bit of noise control for those grunts. Um, this is the uh, this is the bathroom in here. Obviously, got a got a tile floor. That's a composting toilet. Um, can be changed for a flush toilet if needed, depends on your circumstances. The composting toilet takes up a little bit less room, so that's pretty nice. Um, you have a full uh, walk-in shower over here, which is nice. And on this side, you have a decent sized vanity and a pretty good uh, mirror cabinet. Um, there is a little bit of extra room I've left for shelving. It really depends on your own preferences and how much stuff you need stored. Um, so right up this side, you can have quite a lot of shelving in the main part of the home here. Between the ladder and the sofa, there's a huge amount of room for some, for some custom shelving. It really just depends on your own preferences. And then again, if I just jump back up to the loft, this corner you can fill with shelving. And this corner over here, you can get a, quite a lot of shelving in if you need to. Yeah, I just want to leave that to, to the individual client's preferences. And that's basically the inside. 
So back outside the home again. Little porch area here, some ash, thermo treated ash boards here. And then we have a nice big cedar post picking up some of the decking members up there. Nice big beam up there. And on the right hand side we have our spiral staircase. Probably one of the main features of the home. And each tread is custom made by Big Nile. And each one has a nice curved cut cedar tread. So right the way up to the top. And just have a, a look at that beautiful view. Wow. Got some nice tarps, some pallets and trucks. Just got it all up here. But you might have to use your imagination a little bit. And then we have more of that thermal treated ash up here. It's got a 25 year warranty on it. It's actually a really nice product. I may try and use more if I can afford it. The, uh, the railing actually folds down as well for transport, which is something not everyone's aware of. Um, it takes about 20 minutes to uh, to fold right down, and it's it's actually very safe to do so as well. Pretty hard to uh, pretty hard to screw up. Actually, quite a lot of room up here on the deck as well. Um, more than you would think for a tiny home deck. You could uh, you could fit a quite a few friends. You could easily have six, maybe even eight seats up here. Uh, the engineer says I can have 12, but don't know if you're going to fit 12 seats. You got lots of space for a little barbecue, a little table, have a couple of drinks, relax, chill out. Could be worse. Uh, thanks for watching this far. Um, uh, definitely would appreciate some feedback, tips on uh, making videos.